Hello, good afternoon. Thank you for joining today's webinar session on how to manage quality and compliance documents digitally with UDMS and Acumatica ERP. My name is Kevin Bebejoğlu. I'm with Bimsu International Corporation. I'm the managing director of the company. Today, I have my colleagues with me. We all are connecting uh, from Europe. I have uh, Alex Quattro from MRAS Consulting. And I also have my uh, colleagues with me. Uh, Sam is uh, from our uh, process uh, software engineering team. He's our process software engineer. So he is also with us, uh, with our product manager, uh, Furkan Bas. So all together, we'll be uh, talking about how you can manage quality and compliance documents digitally in this digital age with the help of QDMS, while QDMS is integrating with Acumatica ERP system. In recent weeks, we start to make some changes in our flow of our executive webinar session. We like to start with a demonstration, first of all. We like to show you the system of QDMS. So uh, just some brief information before we get into details. QDMS is a quality risk audit and compliance management software. As Vimser uh, International, we've been developing QDMS since 1998. QDMS has more than 1,000 corporate customers and more than uh, 1 million professional users. There are many reputable organizations using QDMS in different industries. With the help of QDMS, you can comply with many different quality and compliance management standards, such as ISO 9001, ISO 14000. If you're in food and beverage industry, SQF, DRC, or ISO 22000, for example. You may be in aerospace industry, complying AS9100, for example. Or let's say you're in medical device industry and you comply ISO 13485. All these standards and more, uh, you can comply with the help of QDMS digitally in a paperless work environment. That's what it provides. And with the help of QDMS, you're ready for audits and inspections every day with no need of special preparations. But QDMS is something that you use on a daily basis and it helps you be ready for audits every day, simply. Which is very practical and very helpful for quality management teams, executive teams, and operational teams. Okay, great. So what I like to do is I like to invite my colleague somewhat to our virtual stage so that Sam can perform a demonstration for you to see how you can manage your quality and compliance documents digitally on QDMS. Sam, if you are ready, please take over the screen. Great, we can see it. Let's make sure you unmute your microphone, Sam. Thank you. Okay, great. So uh, thank you for joining today's webinar. And this is Sam, the Precel Software Engineer of BMC International. So um, today I will demonstrate QDMS, our quality risk audit and compliance management system to you. And this is the homepage of Acumatica ERP. So uh, QDMS is integrated with um, Acumatica ERP. And then uh, they can work on the same page on your web browser, like co uh, connecting to Acumatica ERP. So you can connect to QDMS on the same page of uh, Acumatica. So saying right here, we can go into QDMS. And after you log in, and actually once after you log into Acumatica, then the system will log you in to QDMS automatically. And right here, you can see all the pending tasks and the request for approval of this system screen. So this is how the system makes sure you will not miss any important task that is assigned to you. And QDMS is a permission-based system which means not everyone can see everything. You will see what you are supposed to based on the permissions that are granted to your account. As I'm now logging in as the admin so that I have the full control of the system. So right here, um, I can see all the pending tasks on my home screen so that I can get a quick connection to my request by clicking the widget on this home screen. For example, the one that is waiting for my approval. 
and then I can open this widget and get a quick connection to it and start proceeding with this particular request. And today we will uh, focus on the control document management module, which allows you to, um, uh, which helps you to comply with different standards or regulation like uh, ISO, SQF, or BLC. In terms of the control document management uh, management module. So let's get started. In the main menu, you can see the control document management module, which allows you to create a new document, revise your documents, like updating the version of your documents. For example, your SOPs, uh, specification, procedures, or policies. Also, you can manage the flow, the structure of your um, documents that you have recorded in the system. Like you can create different folder by departments, locations, or uh, let's say the branches. So you can cre create different folder for organizing your documents in the system as well. As for reading your documents, QDMS of course, different file types that you uh, upload to the system, like as I mentioned in the beginning of my demonstration, like your SOPs, uh, specifications, or policies, those can be uploaded to the system in different file formats, like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PDF, image, video, audio, and CAD file. So right here, we can see we have different uh, documents that you will have uploaded in this folder, the folder name as a standard. And then we can open this document and the content of your document will be shown in the built-in browser of QDMS, which means you do not need any other software or application to read your document and instead, those will be shown in the built-in browser of QDMS as known as Film Surveyor. And you can start uh, reading your documents in this built-in browser. Also, you can find the basic document information like the code, the version number, the creator and revisor on this page. With the permission, you can always get back to the previous version of your document. Those will be recorded with the date and also the username who start the revision, like the updating, and also the reason why we have this updating as well. As I mentioned about the permissions, you can also find the permissions that you have granted to the users or user accounts in terms of reading, printing, revising, getting back to the previous version, or deleting the document. So those can be managed in QDMS as well. In this, this version list, you can see which users or user groups have the obligation to read this document once it is updated or uploaded in the system. They will receive a notification in QDMS and also in their email inboxes. Right here, while you're uploading or updating your document, you can also manage the approval flow for against this document. You can set up different level uh, in this approval flow and also add more approvals to this flow as well. All the action will be recorded in the log of QDMS. 
and those will be recorded with the data of the date, time, username, and the action type, so that you can keep tracking the action that the users performed in your system, and see if there's any suspicious actions that are involved in your system as well. This is how QDMS keeps your uh, system insecure and uh, make sure there's no malicious action that are involved against your document. For example, your documents like your control document will not be leaked to another third party. And in this module, we can also upload our document. And I'm going to show you one of the examples, like how we can add a new document in QDMS. So let's say we have a new procedure that we want to upload to the system. And then we can pick and choose the folder as for uh, the main folder and also the subfolder. So we can upload our document of course in our subfolder and then go to the next step. After that, we can generate an, a unique document code for this document. And as for the code, this is the only way that this, uh, the system identifies which document that you're interacting with so that the code has to be unique in the system. And after that, we can define a name for our document and the document name, it doesn't matter what you want to enter or record in the system, since the code is the only way that, that the system know which document that you are working with. And to the name, it is not a, uh, it is not a matter. After that, we can update the permission matrix, like uh, who can do what in the system and also who are uh, which users or user group will receive a notification once this document is update or upload in the system. And we can manage it under this page. And while we are updating the um, document, we can manage the approval flow, saying I want to add Kevin as one of the approver, or let's say uh, Leon. And Leon, he will be one of the approver in this approval flow. So now you can see, I have myself beams the int as the approver and also Leon Kennedy. And there is different level. Think about like, it is like a pyramid. As smaller the number is at uh, in the level, in this approval level, the lower it is in the uh, approval pyramid, which means when we send this request, it will be sent to level one first, like Leon Kennedy. And after Leon approves it, then this request will come to my account, BIMSA Int as the admin, as I'm in the, at the level zero. So this is how it is working in QDMS for approving a document a uploading request. And after that, we can go to the last page and upload our documents from our local. As I mentioned, QDMS support different formats in the system and I can upload different uh, document formats. Uh, I mean, I can upload my document in different formats to the system, like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PDF, image, audio, video, and CAD file. Once you see this message come up to your screen, 
like file upload successfully. Then we can send this out and your request will be sent to the approval flow. And first of all, we are waiting for the approval from Leon Kennedy. And as always, we can go to Leon Kennedy and approve our document. And once uh, the whole approval flow is complete, then your document will be published to the end user. And it is readable in QDMS. And any time during the pro, uh, production, for example, or during um, the operation in your company, then the end user can read this document in this control document management module. In every module in QDMS, there's a reporting tool that allows you to create the ready-made report. So that you can have your ready-made report, for example, like a document status report to be generated on your screen. And before generating your document, you can uh, put some condition to it, like uh, the status that you want to see, and also the folder that you are tracking. After that, we can click the search button and all the records will be shown in the list. All your documents in different steps will be shown in this list and you are more than welcome to use the search features that provided in QDMS. For example, I want to see if uh, all the documents that are published and I can enter part of my keyword like published, I can enter just pop. And then you can see all the records that's related with this keyword that I've just entered. It's helped you to have a quick access to those records that you want to see in this list. At last, QDMS come with a native mobile application so that you can read your document on your handheld device. Uh, hello, Sam. You are muted. Please unmute your microphone. Hello? Yes, please go ahead. Thank okay. You. And uh, also, QDM has come with a native mobile application so that you can read your document on your smartphone or tablet. So I'm going to mirror my uh, smartphone on the screen so that you can see how we can read our document by using our handheld device. So that uh, while you're on your business trip, for example, or uh, during vacation, you can still start reading your um, document on your smartphone or tablet. So it's, I'm now connecting my mobile application, uh, my smartphone, and this is, I'm going to mirror my, uh, my smartphone running as Android device. And as you can see on your screen, this is my uh, uh, my smartphone connecting QDMS, and I can see the same 
uh, request and also the uh, the tasks on my home screen. I can open them it by uh, tapping the widget on this home screen. Also, I can open my main menu in QDMS and go to the doc control document management module and start reading my document. After I get into this module, I can start reading my document by selecting the folder. After that, I can open my, for example, the SOP that I've recorded in the system. And I can open this up and start reading my document. Excuse me, or uh, this. And let me connect back to my mirroring. And when I'm going back here, then I can start reading my SOP on my handheld device. So whenever you're on your business trip or meeting with the customer, then you can read your documents uh, on your tablet or smartphone accordingly. It's come to the end of my demonstration. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sam. Let's continue our webinar session. As you saw during Sam's demonstration, during his show and tell, you can manage your documents, especially quality management and compliance related documents on QDMS digitally with no need of paper. Those documents that we have for quality management as well as for compliance management, they have different characteristics from uh, comparison to other uh, documents that we may have at our, our organization. So you need to, uh, we need to manage these um, quality management documents in a certain manner. And if you notice, QDMS has that structure and that scope to help you manage your quality as well as compliance management uh, related documents in a digital environment, and you can manage those special documents in a certain hierarchy and certain uh, approval process. Now, what I like to do is I like to invite Alex Kovacor to our virtual stage and let's learn about fundamentals of document management and um, documented information and how to manage it in the scope of uh, ISO. Uh, Alex, if you're ready, let's, let's get started. Uh, yes, I'm ready and uh, thank you very much, uh... Kevin for inviting me uh, to make this presentation. Uh, so what I'd like to do is really uh, very briefly discuss what are the uh, requirements to manage uh, documentation um, in uh, as uh, mandated by ISO. And then I'll sh you will see as I progress through my presentation how uh, important it is to have a tool like QDMS to help you uh, manage all of your uh, documents. So before I start very briefly about Amrus Consulting, um, I personally am the sole proprietor of Amrus Consulting and I'm a certified ISO 9001 lead auditor. Uh, I've started uh, my consulting business uh, about five years ago. Uh, after a lengthy career as a project manager in a, a large aerospace company that was certified to the AS9100 quality standard. The AS9100 is the, uh, is the aerospace standard uh, of ISO. 
so currently what I do uh, is I provide consulting services uh, for businesses to uh, both achieve uh, ISO certification and to maintain it. Now, uh, back in August of 2018, I uh, became a, a BIMSA Solutions partner. Uh, and the reason I, I, I decided to do that is because I discovered the capabilities of uh, the tools that BIMSA offers, and specifically the QDMS tool, which uh, provides uh, invaluable uh, help and assistance in managing the uh, ISO data. Uh, and that's why I'm, I'm working, you know, jointly with BIMSER to help companies apply uh, this tool. And, and then, of course, I do a number of webinars and lectures on the various ISO topics. Okay, so just very briefly, uh, what is ISO? And uh, ISO really uh, establishes the Quality Management System, QMS, okay? And what is a QMS? In, in effect, it's a process uh, that takes in, you know, the customer requirements and also the internal uh, business uh, policies and procedures as an input, then goes through whatever processes uh, have been established by the organization and then generates an output. And an output is either a product that is delivered to the customer or a service. Um, so this is a top level description of, of what the QMS is. So let's go now into what, uh, what requirements uh, are there for the QMS. Well, obviously you need to have policies, okay? So this is the what. So obviously policy is to meet customer requirements. Uh, you would like to really achieve uh, and to try to exceed customer expectations. And also a very important part of ISO is to implement a continuous improvement. So even if you think you're perfect, you're really not. So there's always room to make improvements in a lot of the uh, areas of your business. Then the next level are the procedures, is how do you achieve that? Um, and one part is obviously the control of your documents and records. Uh, documents uh, could be anything from customer documents, regulatory documents, internal documents, and so on. And records are all of the company data that, that you uh, maintain to use to make then improvement, continuous improvements in your processes. Uh, also, uh, there's a very important part of ISO is to, con the, uh, to control your non-conforming products and also have corrective and preventive actions. Uh, internal audits is a very important part of uh, QMS to make sure that you're checking your own processes and catch any issues uh, where you don't meet uh, your own internal uh, requirements. And then the responsibilities. Obviously, the organization uh, required to accomplish uh, QMS, the, the resources, the training required for your resources, the internal communication, uh, and obviously uh, the knowledge of the quality policy throughout the organization. Okay, let's go on to now, what are the requirements uh, for documented information as uh, defined by ISO? And specifically in ISO 9001, clause 7.5 gives you the whole, uh, the entire requirements for documented information. So what is documented information? Well, that's any data that is required to be controlled and, and really maintained by your organization and also on the medium that on which it is contained so uh, it again iso does not require you to to have any particular medium where it doesn't have to be electronically maintained but you have to make your own decision be consistent with it um, so let's first look at the 
uh, the processes that are required by QMS, okay? Uh, so the QMS processes uh, have to be defined and documented so they can be monitored uh, and carried out as they, they were planned. Now, documentation uh, is really includes all of the policies, procedures, uh, and specifications. Uh, so obviously specifications apply to the customer requirements. And then if you're develop, developing a product for the customer, then your own internal specification for that product. Uh, also, uh, all the regulatory specifications uh, should be maintained by your organization. Now, the records is really all the data that you collect uh, as part of doing your business. And uh, so that data has to be maintained. And the reason to maintain it uh, is that you can use that data and then see where improvements could be made. So that's a very important part uh, of the um, cycle, a continuous improvement cycle, where now you base your improvement uh, approach, right, on evidence, okay? And evidence really consists of the data that you've collected. Now, obviously, because of the different scope of the organizations, uh, the amount of documentation can vary. And as far as ISO 9001, there's only four internal uh, policy documents that are required. Everything beyond that is really depends on the nature of your business. So the four documents that are required are the scope of the QMS, the quality, your quality policy, your quality objectives, and also the criteria for evaluation and selection of suppliers. Now, most businesses do have suppliers. If you don't, if you don't use suppliers, uh, then obviously that would not apply to you. But uh, I would say most organizations uh, do rely on suppliers. Okay, next slide, please. So now let's look into a little more detail about this paragraph 7.5, and uh, I broke it down into three subparagraphs. Uh, the first one, 7.5.1, is a general uh, introduction to managing documented information. And basically what it says is that uh, your organization has to have all of the required documents uh, to be very effective with your QMS, okay. Then going down to 7.5.2 is creating and updating the documentation. So here it is very important to make sure that all your documents, which could, it could be again internal documents, uh, are properly identified. So you need to keep track of a document having a uh, title and uh, preferably a document number, a format, uh, and so on, and uh, make sure that all of that uh, information, all that data is available uh, and maintained. So again, ISO does not require you to have everything uh, stored in an electronic environment. It could be on paper, but if you decide to store, could be a combination of both paper and electronic, but if it's stored on, on paper, you still are required to maintain the process, namely the review process uh, and make sure that dur uh, during the review process, all of the comments that are made uh, about the uh, the documents that are being reviewed, that they are stored and available for future reference. And obviously, the approval or the final version, when it's approved, has to be clearly identified. So that is a very clear requirement. And again, if you go back to Sam's presentation on the QDMS, that gives you all of the capability to do that. Uh, so that's, I think, where the QDMS tool is extremely valuable to assist you in, in that uh, effort. 
And the final paragraph, 7.5.3, is the control of the documented information. So obviously, if you have a document that changes its uh, version because you're making changes to it or, or improvements, then the latest approved version must be made available for use. Uh, so it's um, sometimes it's uh, confusing as to what is the latest version, and sometimes the people that use the documents don't get the latest approved version, and that's where confusion com uh, comes up. So that's a very important element of main controlling your documentation. Uh, and also, uh, there must be a process of distributing, uh, accessing, retrieval uh, of the document, the storage. Now here's a very important part is storage means that, uh, God forbid, you have a natural disaster, that you have a backup available. So whether you store uh, your documents uh, in a uh, paper format in, in file cabinets or electronically, you have to have a uh, backup procedure of where uh, the uh, information could be retrieved in case of a natural disaster. Uh, and obviously, retention and disposition is, is an important part, is how many years are you going to maintain uh, all of that documentation. So that uh, completes my uh, presentation. And um, again, I'm now turning it over to Kevin. Thank you very much. Alex, thank you very much for sharing your insights. Very educational. And um, uh, with your actually uh, presentation, we learned what I used to actually uh, ask companies about document management and what type of processes they must have. So that is, uh, that, that is very important. And just like you mentioned on QDMS, as per Sam's demonstration, uh, we are actually following ISO's instruction. We actually we are actually helping companies following ISO's instructions in a digital environment as for uh, a document management uh, module of QDMS. That's why we call it actually a controlled document management module to help companies comply with quality management standards like ISO in a digital environment. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. So let's uh, continue our. Um, webinar session with uh, our uh, company presentation. Also, I'd like to share some more information with regards to the QDMS for you to keep keep in mind for, for future reference. And uh, as you know, we keep our contact information on the screen, especially um, um, our uh, introductory screens that I actually just showed this one. So you have our contact information. If you have any questions, if you'd like to continue this conversation, you can mm -hmm. send us an email and we can talk further uh, about the quality management, compliance, and other uh, subjects uh, at a separate meeting with you. All right, so let me introduce you our company on a high level, and then we'll also talk about QDMS and its capabilities and how you can benefit from complying digitally with ISO and other quality management standards. As Bimster International, we are an enterprise software maker since 1998. We are based in New York. In a sense, we help companies adopt digital transformation and help companies simplify their business processes. We are very active in various business communities, manufacturing, finance, distribution, import, export, as well as professional services, pharma, healthcare, and many other uh, communities, business communities that we are uh, active in. So that we can engage with businesses, we can learn from them, and we can continue uh, progressing ourselves. We have an education internship program called University of Industry International. We have university students learn about how to do pre-sales and software engineering. While we are uh, based in New York, we have global presence, as you see on the map. We are a group of companies. Our team is actually growing. Uh, we are a growing organization with our team and with our, with our group. We are active in uh, many different ERP ecosystems, SAP, Microsoft, MyOB, as well as Acumetica. Uh, we are also active in various uh, other ERP ecosystems, Sage, Sage Intact, Oracle, uh, 
as well as NetSuite and many other ERP systems. As for quality management systems, uh, we are also ISO 9001 certified and ISO 27001 certified. So we also follow ISO uh, standards. And we have our own QMS, our own quality management system at BIMSO that we follow and, um, and manage, which we, we take it very seriously because we believe in ISO, we believe in quality management and continuous improvement. That's why we have it at our company, we practice it and we are certified. In addition to our company locations worldwide, we, all, we are also active in many different regions in the world. We are active in North America, South America, Africa, Asia, Australia, and Europe, and Middle East as well. Since 1998, we developed these four products, EVA, Beam, QDMS, and Ensemble. We also have a newcomer called Beamster Synergy, which is the cloud native version of EVA, actually. EVA is our workflow and document management platform that helps companies go digital and uh, manage their manage companies business processes in a digital environment and automate business processes in the digital age. We have Beam. Beam is our asset maintenance facility, fleet and energy management software. You can manage your machinery, equipment, cars, trucks, fleets and buildings and properties. And you can manage your maintenance operations as in periodic preventive and predictive maintenance operations. QDMS that we have been talking about today is our quality risk audit and compliance management software. I'll share more information with regards to QDMS in coming slides. Ensemble is an intelligent business process modeling and performance management software. And you can see in the bottom, we have an application called contract management application. It helps to manage your contracts digitally with no need of paper. And you can manage your contract management contract management uh, processes in a digital environment. We have thousands of customers and we have millions of professional users since 1998. And these numbers as, as, for, as for how many projects we have deployed uh, increasing on monthly basis. Our products run on cloud. They also run standalone. We integrate with many different systems, ERP systems, CRM systems, and other systems, because we, we have very modern technology built in our, our systems. So we, our systems also have a mobile application for you to make it easy to use our systems. Uh, we have many reputable organizations that put their confidence in our company and in our products that we are proud of. We work with 3M, we work with Ford, Bridgestone, Nissan, Renault, United Nations, Unilever, and many other reputable organizations, corporations, and institutions. When we think about and when we talk about quality management, our scope is actually digital transformation, digital transformation of quality management. So what is digital transformation? Digital transformation is adopting an organization's strategy and structure to capture opportunities enabled by technology. So everything starts with leadership and adopting organization's strategy and structure to benefit from opportunities coming thanks to technology. There are benefits of digital transformation. You can be more competitive. You can be reducing your cost by adapting digital transformation. You can be more efficient. You can also be compliant with type of digital transformation in a digital and paperless work environment. And uh, since uh, we have been active in quality management and compliance management industry, the industries, uh, we are also very active in various verticals, many different verticals actually. Uh, I made a list of it on this slide uh, and next to each vertical you can see some of the quality management or compliance requirements that those companies active in these verticals are supposed to comply with. For example, uh, aerospace or aviation industry typically comply with ASI 100 or healthcare or let's say food and beverage industry. They, they are different quality management as well as regulatory requirements that companies need to comply with. Um, so regardless of what industry you're in and what quality management system you're complying with, quality management standard you're complying with, there are actually certain objectives of all these standards. Basically, uh, they are designed to help you have a safe work environment and help you uh, make or provide safe products and help you increase customer satisfaction and have continuous improvement in place. So these, these are 
common objectives, which is actually which, which are very important objectives when you think about it. And there are typical requirements. So today we we focus on the documentation, uh, documenting activities and managing the documents according to the standards. Uh, earlier today, Alex talked about document management from the scope of ISO 9001 and ISO 9001 requirements. In addition. All these standards, they also have control points and control requirements. You need to have control points in your operations, maybe doing, uh, in your administrative operations, maybe distribution, maybe more manufacturing operations. Uh, also, feedback is very important. You need to get feedback from your customers, from your stakeholders, or from your vendors. You need to study them, analyze them, and you need to find out, uh, find a way to improve your processes. And you maybe can improve your processes by taking corrective actions. Speaker. So all these are very important. And at the same time, while we are engaging the companies to talk about digital transformation quality management, there are common challenges that we have been seeing in the marketplace. For example, it's difficult for companies to manage documentation, paperwork. That is why we organize this webinar to address these challenges. Also, making managerial decisions based on evidence is challenging. It's because most of the companies, they are, they, they are lack of sensory repository meaning data, documents, information is all over the place. It's very difficult. It's challenging for them to put everything together to make managerial decisions, which is uh, which is difficult for companies. It's a challenge. That's why we put together this digital transformation framework to address these challenges. So based on our digital transformation framework for quality management, there are three parts. First part is assurance. Maybe you're compliant with ISO. Maybe you're compliant with AS9100 in the aerospace industry. If you're a food and beverage company, for example, maybe you're compliant with ISO 22000 or HPF or BRC, that's your assurance that basically dictates the system, your quality management system. And uh, the second piece is control. You need to have control points in your organization, in your, in your administrative operations, in your manufacturing operations, in your distribution, other operations, for example, to make sure everyone in your company following your policies, procedures, SOPs, and your quality management system-based policies, for example. And predict, the predict is referring to smart sensors. So it's also important to utilize smart sensors to be proactive. So taking action before anything happens, that's also very important. That is why we created, we made, we made actually QDMS, our quality risk audit and compliance management software based on this digital transformation framework. We have been developing QDMS since 1998. We have more than 1,000 corporate customers and more than 1 million professional users, and these numbers are increasing on a monthly basis. With the help of QDMS, you can comply with many different quality management standards. You can comply with ISO. You can comply with ISO 14001. You can comply with AS9100, IATF, and many other standards at the same time. So one QDMS system is enough for you to run all these compliance requirements. Our system is web-based, so you can access QDMS from anywhere with a web browser, just like connecting another website, which makes things much easier for you. You may be traveling, you may be working from home, remotely, regardless of where you are, you can connect QDMS and manage your quality management system and data. And once we train you properly, you can manage QDMS yourself. It's very straightforward, it's very user-friendly, and typically we work with quality management teams or departments to help manage QDMS and the quality management system on QDMS digitally in a paperless work environment. QDMS is a standalone solution. In addition, it is a certified Acumetica ERP application. So it has integrations ready-made with QDMS and Acumetica. So you can, you can easily pull and push data. Since QDMS has a very, mo very modern uh, architecture and technology, in addition to Acumetica ERP integrations, it is also ready to integrate with other ERP systems, CRM systems, manufacturing and execution systems, and IoT devices. The idea is to help you have an integrated management system so that you can, you know, so that you don't have to enter data twice. Once you enter the data in one of the systems, then data can flow and you can run your operations accordingly. QDMS is modules. There are more than 30 modules available on QDMS. So it depends on what quality management system that you, are, that you have, what quality management standards that you are complying with and regulations. You can pick and choose any module that you like. For example, today we talk about control document management to help you manage your documents, quality and compliance management documents, such as policies, procedures, 
SOPs, instructions, and other documents that's related to your ISO quality management standard or other systems that you, are, you have been implementing in your organization in the, in the scope of quality and compliance management, for example. In addition to control document management, which is the backbone of any quality management system, there, is, there are other modules, for example, there is a customer complaint module, there is correct election module, audit module for internal and external audits, there is a training module, collaboration module, risk module, for example, risk assessments, which is also very important. And there are other modules, as you see on the, on the screen. So these modules are designed to help you comply with quality management standards as well as regulatory requirements in a digital and paperless work environment. Let's remember QDMS works on laptops, it works on desktop computers, it works on tablets and smartphones. Especially as for tablets and smartphones, QDMS has a native mobile application. So with an Android device as well as iOS device, you can use the system. Um, so typically for QDMS related subjects, we talk to quality managers, quality directors, plan managers, or operations directors in any organization. Then typically we understand we need to understand the challenges, you know, what are the priorities of the organization. Right? So we need to understand what do you comply, we need to understand how do you comply and what is your challenge. Once we understand the answers of these uh, three questions, then we can uh, we'll also recommend a set of modules for you and we can help you comply in a digital environment. Uh, before we end our webinar session today, I'd like to also invite you to our YouTube channel. We have a we have a very active YouTube channel. We have uh, hundreds of product videos, educational videos, webinar recordings as well so that you can uh, watch and learn about code management systems, asset management techniques, being paperless and automating your, your work processes in a, in a digital environment. So we invite you to our YouTube channel and please subscribe so that you can be updated anytime there is any news coming from our YouTube channel. You can also visit our event rate page for our coming webinar sessions. We have webinars on weekly basis about quality management, asset management, maintenance management, automation, business process management, business process modeling, and other business management related subjects. So that you can register and you can join us at our coming webinar sessions. I'd like to thank you for your time and thank you for your interest. We are looking forward to seeing you at our coming executive webinar sessions. Thank you and have a nice day.